Very cool. In this video, I want to cover the Falcon Eyes F7 RGB light. It's dual and its real redeeming feature is it's foldable and can be controlled by an app. Let's take a look at this thing. This is the F7 Fold RGB LED light from Falcon Eyes. It's a pocket light. You got a really nice case, a carabiner you could hook to your belt strap or whatever. We have two honeycombs which fit over the light to diffuse the light and direct the light. Not one, but two cords for charging the unit. We have an excellent mount that they include with this. Some other bits and bobs for replacing certain things on the unit. A little cold shoe mount. And then this interesting, it's almost like a shower cap thing that you put over to diffuse the light. This is no slouchy little connector. It's got quarter 20s down here, which you can undo, which go into 3 8 All metal. You basically twist this off. And you can pivot these however you want. This is a great addition to the light. Even if I didn't have the light, I would want one of these. Both of these light, I think they last about two to two and a half hours. But again, the thing I really like is I can wire this in in the studio and I don't have to worry about batteries. The light continuously charges and I don't have to worry about it. I just come in, flip it on, it works. I flip it off, it's fine. I don't have to mess with batteries. Now the outside of the unit is just like their other F7 light, except you're getting a dual light, which means you're getting twice the power. You look on this side, you have your on off switch, various controls, and a way to plug this in and charge this. And it can be run with it plugged in, which I really like, especially when I'm in the studio. You simply turn the light on using this switch. You can turn the other light on using this switch. Both of these have a number of features. When we get to the app, I'll really dive into them. But let's just take a quick look at this. Right now at CCT, that's just a white light. This thing is spectacularly bright, which I'll show you in a second. By a press of the button, you can go to the hue, saturation, etc. on this thing. You can also press the button to go again and pick 20 different scenes. A different type of color if you want to use that. It uses the Lee and the Roscoe type gel. So for instance, if you were looking for a particular gel to match the Roscoe, you would do that. Of course, you can reset the light to its default. Let's flip her over. That's currently off. That's 100%. And you are talking a serious amount of light. What I really want to jump into is I want to jump into the app. All you do is download the Desal light. It's a free app. Connect up your lights and you're done. What I have here is I have, there's the top light. There's the bottom light. And I also have two devices. So I can control both of them as a single device using all the controls for that or each individually like that. Now I'm going to use this as a group to start. Immediately you'll notice I'm controlling the colors using this app. So I can mess around with this thing, come along. That's pretty darn bright. Let's turn that down here. Next CCT, I can set it to 7,000K, 6,000K, 5,500, 44, 3200, and 28K. This is a bright light. That's at 13% power. Let's go to 7,000K, 13% power. If we run this thing up to 100, it's pretty intense. Next is scenes. There are 20 different scenes in here that you can select. Here's the lightning scene. Now realize I can run these independently or I can run them together like I'm doing right now in a group. Here I've gone into a breathing light. It just basically breathes back and forth and it sets all the values for you. We have our ambulances. There's our red flash. Here's our blue flash, green flash. Right now we got a red flash. Let's increase it all the way to the top. You're going to get some serious flashing going on here. And that's really cool. Here I am with the phone and I decide that I'm going to take some color swash off the phone. So I point this, let's say I point it at this red color. Let's turn the light on. We have a red color. Let's say I come down here and I point this at this blue color and I take a sample of that. Now all of a sudden I got blue. Now I'm back in the scenes. Let's do a police car. That's pretty cool. Fire truck. I love being able to control this on my phone. I don't have to mess with buttons, knobs, or anything else, which is really cool. Now I'm back in HSI, and as I said, I can control. Let's run this up so you can see it. Here's green, here's red. What's really neat is I can tap here, 
Now I'm in RGB value, so I can run up the red, I can run up the blue, I can play with the green all on the phone. It also has these Lee and these Roscoe filters, which are awesome. For instance, if I wanted a magenta as I'm shooting a green screen and I wanted to use this as a backlight, I can pick any of these gels and it immediately turns to that gel. Let's run this up. An E156 Roscoe gel. Here's an F65 Roscoe gel. That's really, really cool. And the app is really simple to use. Probably my favorite is being able to take a photo and then, you know, matching the scene. For instance, I have these blue lights back here and maybe I wanna add this to that scene. I wanna match the blue lights I already have. Let's turn that off. You'll see those blue lights back there. These guys, maybe I wanna add a little more blue or maybe I wanna replace those with this. I simply bring the light back here. And what I've done is I've matched the blue lights that I already have, which is really, really slick. If you're trying to match a background or a color hue or something, I could even point it up at this light and take this light's color temperature and its hue. And I've just matched to that light over there. Here's the honeycombs. They simply mount on the unit and one there. And as you can see, it's more of a directed light towards what you're doing, really keeps the light from blasting off onto the sides and everything else. Again, I'm able to control the brightness of the light, where it's directed, etc. Another neat feature I like about this light is since it's foldable, it's, it's not floppy. I could actually set this up like that and use it to light something. Let's say we're gonna light the side of this phone and let's pull that down a little bit. Just give it a little bit of highlight here. Possibly let's go to 2800K, see what that looks like. Let's go to 7000K, I like that. And if this were out of the frame, I could easily light this particular phone or whatever I'm doing and give it whatever hue I wanted. This unit is not light, it's, I'll put how much it weighs on there. And because of the magnet, what happens is in the weight, it's not like you can magnetize it on a single pole or something, but if you have something flat, it'll definitely hang on there. And when you fold this guy up, it's the magnet that keeps it together. It does have a quarter inch mount here, which is cool. And then on this side, it has a quarter inch mount. And again, all the chargers and the panels and everything else are over here. I believe this is where the Bluetooth controlling comes through on this side. I've seen some other videos and the mention was that possibly what could happen is this light would be super useful. All you would have to do is undo these two screws on either side. And in effect, you're getting two RGB lights that can be controlled by this particular thing. You just split them apart and you're pretty much done. You got two of these lights. I recommend it and I'll be using it myself. Don't forget I have a new OBS course happening over at Basic Filmmaker University. Go check it out. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Okay, if you could just give me your credit card number, your mother's maiden name, and your social security number that... Uh-oh.